This video will show you how to configure a Palo Alto Networks firewall to export NetFlow using the web interface. The model used in this demo is a PA200 version PAN OS 7.0.2. Please note that there might be slight differences with other models and versions. Open a browser session and log into your device. From the dashboard, click the Device tab. On the Device page under Server Profiles, select NetFlow from the list, and then click Add at the bottom. The NetFlow Server Profile comes pre-populated with default settings for template refresh rate and active timeout. Add a name for the profile. For this example, we'll use NSW underscore NTA underscore export, but you can enter any name you like. Change the template refresh rate from 30 minutes to 1 minute. This will minimize data gaps if the SolarWinds server or NetFlow service restarts. The NetFlow service is unable to process the flow data until the template is received, and this way, the data will be processed within a minute. Change the active timeout from 5 minutes to 1 minute. This setting controls how often the active cache flows are exported. By changing this setting to 1 minute, the data will be normalized. If this is left at the default setting of 5 minutes and there are active flows that last longer than 5 minutes, this will cause 5 minute spikes on the charts. If the link is saturated, spikes may be greater than the bandwidth of the circuit. Click the plus icon at the bottom of the page to add the NetFlow collector. Enter a name to identify the collector. We'll call this SW Collector. Enter the IP address of the server where the SolarWinds NetFlow Traffic Analyzer collector is installed. In this example, we are using 10.199.25.62. Click OK to save your changes to the profile. Next, you need to assign the profile to the interfaces you wish to collect NetFlow data. In this example, we'll assign the NetFlow profile to the Ethernet 1-2 interface. Click the Network tab, then Interfaces, and finally the Ethernet tab. Now, double-click on the interface or interfaces you wish to collect NetFlow data on. Please note that this needs to be a Layer 3 interface. Add a comment if you wish to identify or describe the interface. For the purposes of this demo, we'll add NetFlow since it's collecting NetFlow data. Select the NetFlow profile created earlier from the drop-down list and click OK. Next, you will configure a service route for the interface that the firewall will use to send the NetFlow data. For PA7000 and PA5200 series firewalls, the management interface cannot be used to send the NetFlow data. The interface configured in the service route does not have to be the same as the interface that is collecting the NetFlow data. To configure a service route, select the Device tab from the main menu. Select Setup from the list on the left, and then click the Services tab. Click Service Route Configuration at the bottom. Select Customize, IPv4, and then click on the word NetFlow. Select Source Interface from the drop-down list, and then select the Source Address that will be used to send the NetFlow data. Any, Use Default, and MGT, or Management, are not valid interface options for sending NetFlow records from the PA7000 series or PA5200 series firewalls. Click OK to exit from the Service Route source, and then OK to exit the Service Route configuration. The final step is to click the Commit button in the upper right corner of the window. Please note that clicking Save will not apply your changes, and the NetFlow data will not be exported. This is the most common reason that NetFlow data is not exported, even though everything has been configured correctly. The Save button simply saves the XML configuration to a file, whereas the Commit button saves and applies the config changes. And that's it! Now that you've configured NetFlow on your Palo Alto Networks device, you can analyze your network traffic using SolarWinds NetFlow Traffic Analyzer and monitor your network using SolarWinds Network Performance Monitor.